So we are set. Warm up has been called. Joe Horn up against Tila Anus for the title. Estonia taking on the home favourite, the uh, British player Joe Horn. And it does look as if it is uh, Tila Anus to uh, get us started in this one. Well, of course, they will be a bit nervy. This uh, will be broadcast on Sky Sports, of course. They'll have this uh, package all uh, put together. So this is a big final. This is a, a big stage now for these two players. It is, and it does change things in your mindset as a player when it feels like a, a centre court like this one does and, and there's a few more people watching and you know it's going out live on TV. I'm sure both these girls, they, they haven't had too much experience of that. And uh, I think it'll be who, who deals with it best. Yeah, they want to give a good account of themselves. And it's just a little bit of a nervy start, this, from the Estonian. Cameras going off in the, in the background, which can't help. 15, That's a long way out. So it is uh, break points already here. At least she's smiling about it. Yeah, good start. Game really good Horn. start this for Horn. Horn leads by one game to love. Season campaigner on the touch tennis circuit and uh, her, her results have been consistent. Well, it's nice coming, coming to these events. You kind of see the, the same people over and over again. It's a real family, a real fraternity. and Well, it's uh, just growing and growing this. Unusual return position. It has been a wonderful day so far today, not just for the competitors, excellent entertainment for people to come down, enjoy the action. It's a sport that's easy to pick up and it seems tough to put down. Absolutely well said. Love 30. Had the chance to talk to some players who started playing, got well and truly hooked on the sport and uh, as a result, Love there's a real four. expanding touch tennis family that's uh, emerged in the last few years. Constantly welcoming new members, so come on down, have a go. It is, and a great workout for everyone. It's a, it's a great day out and a real opportunity to be active and, and get moving in a, in a fun, competitive environment. A yeah, nice touch there from uh, Horn. And away it goes. So we are all square. Parity is restored at this early stage. She's having a blast here. <laughs> she really is. This is a final. <laughs> what pressure. Love 15. But a great moment for both of them as well. And, uh, you know, Every time you step in, into a situation like this, it builds confidence. It you know, obvi obviously helps you to get fitter. And it's an amazing return from Joe there. Yeah, it's an absolute thunderbolt from uh, Joe. She is a, a power player. She can really hit it cleanly. Love 40. That's a long way out. So it is uh, chances again. Are we to see uh, three breaks of serve in a row? We absolutely are. It is Horn who uh, has the lead. She gets her nose in front, two games to one. Good start this for uh, Horn. 
Yeah, and I do feel that experience may be the telling factor in this match. She's played a lot more matches and uh, she's, she's quite prepared to, to work it out, is Joe. Just quite a few errors at the moment at the, at the start of this one. There's these two just get settled on this centre court. Better point than both of them. Catch the line. Anders, two games all, first set. Well, no, it's not. So it is at two games all. So it's four breaks in a row. <laughs> great That's example. <laughs> <laughs> a great example of how actually how tough it is to serve in touch yeah. tennis. Um, it's it's not easy, and Love even 50. from coming from a tennis background and having played it myself, it is a challenge as to whether to kick it in, to, to really hit it, to, to use your legs, to abbreviate the action. And you can see both girls each time just changing what they're doing with it, which uh, leads to a more inconsistent results. Well, we've watched a fair bit of touch tennis today. What do you think the key components of being a touch tennis uh, player are? I think movement is, is crucial, even though it's a little court. Um, I think that the better players are obviously the ones that move the best. Um, but I think it's an understanding of the game, which is what I love most about touch tennis, in that, OK, perhaps some players might not have the weapons or, or they might not have the athletic ability, but if they understand the court, then they're able to create problems for the, for the opponent. And I think, I think that's really important, that it is a game, and that's why it's so fun, is because, because it is a game. Yeah, it's a thinking game, a game of chess. And uh, well, at the moment, Tila Hannes is struggling on the serve. That's away, and that is another game break of serve. Same old story. It is uh, Joe Horn who leads the way. She's a game away from taking this opening set. That's uh, some way long. And how's everything going with you, Emily? You've been, uh, you've been away recently? Yeah, I've been in Asia for six weeks, uh, playing some challenger events over there. And, uh, we won a challenger event in Thailand, which was great. Fantastic. Um, and then headed for a couple of tough weeks in China following it. Um, it's good to be home, and I'm looking forward to the grass court season coming up. And you got back a few days ago, so jet lag a little still? Bit, a little yeah. bit of jet lag, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Doing a good job here today. Otherwise, I, w I would have played today. <laughs> Oh, lovely shot. That's a touch of class as Joe Horn fires that one away and she is creeping towards the finish line in this first set. Yeah, she just brought, she just brought her into the net there with a little, little cheeky slice and was able to pass her on the next ball, which isn't a bad tactic. And there is another error handed on a silver platter and it is Joe Horn who takes the first set and one big step towards the trophy.
So Tila Anish needs to uh, try and cut out these errors. These uh, serves are just going awry at the moment. Yeah, and I think as, as she develops her game through playing more matches and being in this situation more often, I think she'll adjust to the, to the serving Love methods 30. that the other touch tennis players have already uh, as she becomes more confident. But great to see her here today and, and lovely to make a final. Love 40. Just seems a little bit nervous. Oh, well, Ace. she gets the benefit 15. of the doubt there. What nice that was. And that is fired away in some style, and it is Horn who just continues on her merry way. Good sportsmanship there as well, clapping the, clapping the good return. You don't see that very often. Set up and uh, a break up, all looking rosy at the moment for Horn. Drop shot return there. Dustin Brown would have been proud of that. <laughs> Creative play. That's what touch tennis is all about. 30 love. It is just getting away from her quickly, though. That's a good return. That's better. Down low at the feet of Horn. She never looked particularly convincing with that serve volley attempt, but I like the idea. Game Horn. And Denise, another Horn good game, game as Horn just is pulling away now. I do wonder if uh, she decided to stand in that returning position to protect the backhand side because she doesn't seem to like to return from the backhand. So perhaps she's, she's doing that no, so that she can hit the forehand off the return. Yeah. But... Um, Maybe really going to plan, is it? Yeah, maybe something that she needs to develop a little bit more confidence in in the future because the, the players are going to start exposing it. Love. Third. Exactly what she just did, Horn firing it back. Of 30. Good crowd in, as it has been all afternoon. Event be going since the, this morning, about at 11 o'clock, it got underway. And a real buzz to the National Tennis Centre today with the Touch Tennis event happening on a bank holiday Monday down here and lots of other events going on at the same time with some crazy golf and yeah. some scale electrics. I think I'll take you on at Crazy Golf after this. Done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wild one. It uh, goes some way out, and uh, Horn is just a game away from carving her name on the trophy here in Roehampton. Been a really good showing this from Horn. Just been a really confident, composed look. And she's been Anis has really struggled. It, she has, and she's been quite happy, Joe, to, to sit back and make some balls and, and then really go for it when she can. And uh, I think that's a, it's a classic example of how someone with a lot of matches under their belt um, and a little bit more experience is able to use that in a big final to the, to the best of, of their ability. Yeah, chance to close it out. 
And like you say, I think the backhand might be just a bit uh, dodgy for Tila Anis. Yeah, she's really struggling on the backhand. I don't know why she doesn't try and hit a, hit a couple more. You can see there, she's running around it to hit the forehand. That was a beautiful shot. She's made that. I think it's just wide, yeah. Close. Oh, well. <laughs> Ace for the net cord, that's what you want. It's all going her way. I think Joe's background in tennis as well. She used to play professionally herself. Um, I think holds her in good stead here. Um, we don't know much about the, the Estonian's uh, tennis history, but Joe played Victory. very similarly on the tennis court to how she's playing here today. And you can see she has a good tennis brain. Championship points. Game and it is Joe Horn, who reigns here in Roehampton. A brilliant win, and a brilliant performance all afternoon. And she has uh, carved her name on the trophy at the expense of Tila Anus, who didn't quite come to the party in the final, but she's done brilliantly to uh, get to this stage. And, uh, well, that's a really good win for, for Joe Horn. It really is, and wonderful to see for her for, for the weeks that she's put in on the Touch Tennis Tour um, coming to fruition here today, and for her to win her second title, this, this time on hard court, the first one being on grass. Um, and I wish Joe all the best for the, for the summer in the UK and if she can play any of the other touch tennis events around the world. Yeah, just really good throughout to Joe Horn, just solid as a rock, hardly gave anything away. And well, when she saw that uh, Tila Ranos was uh, causing all, all sorts of errors from her side, well, it all uh, went to, to plan for uh, Joe Horn. It is an excellent victory for her and that will give her so much confidence, like you say, Emily, moving forward in the season. And uh, well, she does like the grass court, so she'll uh, have every opportunity of improving on the results as this summer draws on. It's been a day to remember for her here at the uh, National Tennis Centre. Let's see what she has to say about it. Yeah, we should have a word with the champion now. Joe, congratulations. How was that? That was tough. Um, yeah, it took a little bit of time to get into it, but kind of sussed out what I needed to do early on and managed to get there by the second set, so yeah. Just a word about your opponent, one for the future. Amazing, yeah, no, I haven't met her before, so yeah, no, she's brilliant, she serves well, strikes it well, so yeah, I think, she, I think she'll be high up in the rankings. What's next for you? Um, I think Woking, there's a tournament in Woking in a few weeks, so yeah, hopefully can uh, do the women's title there as well. How much does this mean to you to win here today? Yeah, it's amazing um, to win at the National Tennis Centre as well, it's, it's just incredible, so yeah, thank you to the crowd as well. <laughs> Congratulations and we thank you as well. Your champion, Joanna Horn. Yeah, spoke really well, just uh, delighted, understandably so. And she said that she's moving on to Woking next. That's the, uh, the next tournament that she has in her sights. And who would back against her now? She's got the momentum behind her. And uh, Joe Horn might just start to dominate, perhaps, Emily. Yeah, and I think it's a, a great opportunity for her to, to take what she's learned from, from today and from, from her other matches and really go forth in, in the rankings like, like she's showing already that the improvements are there all the time and you learn a little bit more each time you play a match, especially in a sport which is still relatively new to her and, and to everyone around us. Um, and I think she can have a very good summer. Well, don't go too far away, everybody. That's the, the women's final done and dusted. We have another final, of course, the Open final just around the corner. It's Mould against Roberts. Should be a really good tussle. That one coming up in just a few minutes' time.